you know, anytime you guys can go in and play a team that is of equal caliber, um, you know, I think those guys were waiting to be tested, and I think the coaches were waiting to see them be tested, um, and it really hadn't happened all year um, for one reason or another. And and to be able to go into a game and play in a game where you've got to you've got to execute in crunch time, you've got to execute when things are on the line. Um, that that's never going to be a bad thing, um, and for them to be able to do that. Uh, in a sophomore game yeah. and to get a feeling of what that means is only going to be valuable moving forward. Uh, it's, it's only going to be experience that they have when, when that time mm -hmm. comes in a varsity game where they've got to do the same thing. You know, they're going to be able to lean back and say, hey, we, we've done this before. Mm -hmm. uh, it was on a different level, but we've done it. We've executed and um, it's only going to, it only builds confidence. You know, winning breeds winning. What, what might happen? Uh, what could happen? Um, it, it's ultimately going to fall on, you know, both the coaches and the athletes to be prepared for, for that to come. Um, you know, it's, it's going to take continued effort to be better. Um, you know, you never want to rest on uh, where you're at. Um, you want to constantly be getting better. Um, you know, you hear, you hear it say all the time, you're never, you're never steady. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. Right. Um, and so this just has to be a step in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, and, and as long as the guys understand that, that this is just a, you know, one step in the direction where they want to get, um, you know, that potential is, is something to be excited about. And we just, you know, you just, you just try to build on that and, yeah. and you try to, you know, build on that enthusiasm, build on that excitement. Um, and, and, you know, hope that as, as time goes on, that you, you continue to see that progress and you can see them get better and better every day. Right. This is kind of when character shines through. Um, you know, what kind of what kind of person are they? Are they are they willing to to still lay it on the line every day, to to put the effort in every day, to continue to uh, build and, and establish a culture, um, establish a, a a way of thought that the guys need to have every day. Um, we talked to the seniors both Friday and Monday about, you know, now is the time where they, they start thinking about how they want to leave the program and in what shape they want to leave the program. And yeah, it, it's, you know, we want to get down there, we want to get another win and we want to just continue to, to, to work. And, and like I said, leave, the seniors want to leave this program in the best shape that they can and, and their, their effort is showing that. Uh, well, what, the couple of things that stand out against St. Pete, I think one is they're, they're relatively young. They don't have a lot of seniors. Um, they, they play really hard on film. They, you know, I, I know the record is what it is, but you know, they, it, it says a lot that they, they continue to compete. Um, they they want to throw the ball, I think, is their MO on offense. Um, they'll spread you out and throw it. Uh, if they can get you, we talked about this on, on Monday with the guys, they'll, they'll get into the Newman offense, the double tight wishbone, and if that works for them, they'll stay in it. I, I think they've, they pose a challenge in that they, they have two very extremely different styles that they they potentially could play. Um, you know, watching my film, it's a lot of throwing. The quarterback is really good. Mm -hmm. the quarterback has some, some decent speed. He throws a pretty good ball. Um, you know, the receivers understand that he'll get them the ball if they if they run and work hard in their routes. And so we're gonna have to be pretty disciplined uh, in the pass defense. Um, you know, Ross was really kind of finding his own way. Uh, really kind of coming into his own uh, these last three games or so. Uh, and, and so I'm sure it's disappointing for him. It's disappointing for everybody. Um, but it is got to be a next guy up. And, and whether that's a junior or a sophomore, um, it's kind of going to be a combination of some guys uh, that are going to take his spot. And maybe some guys have a little bit bigger role than they've had before. And, um, you know, we just plan as well as we can. Um, it doesn't change a lot for us. I think the guys that we have taken those spots can, can do what we're asking them to do. Um, and, and it's just a matter of execution at this point. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing big is changing. It's just maybe a guy's in a few different spots and making sure they know what they're doing. And, uh, and then come Friday night, you know, a lot like we talked about with the guys on Friday, last Friday, uh, it, it's going to come down to our ability to execute is better than they execute. Um, and that's a lot of what football comes down to anyway.